Hey, what's up guys? I wanna to talk to you about some misunderstandings about what it's really like in the Philippines when it comes to meeting a Filipina because I've had a bunch of conversations recently about guys that were kinda of disappointed because their expectations weren't met. They found it to be much different than what they thought it was gonna be like. Take for example a guy that I met about a week ago in Dumaguete. He was telling me that he was in Dumaguete back in 2015 and he said it was so different that wherever he went in town, girls were staring at him, girls were smiling at him. He was like, I was the man. He couldn't go anywhere without getting that kind of attention. And he just felt like, dude, where am I? It was like another universe when it came to, you know, girls being interested in him just because he was a foreigner. Fast forward to now, well, like a week ago when I was chatting with him and he was like, man, no one notices me at all. Like no one looks at me. It's just as if I'm any other guy walking around. Like he just doesn't feel like he's anything unique or special. <laughs> Basically, that's how it is now in Dumaguete. Now, keep in mind, Dumaguete is one of the more popular areas for foreigners. So if you're hanging out in the downtown area where he has been hanging out, there's a lot of foreigners and it's kind of been a growing foreigner retirement area and destination for the last few years. So it's no longer a place where there's any kind of wow factor of seeing seeing a foreigner. Now, that same thing applies to Cebu City. Most foreigners go to IT Park, Ayala Mall, like Cebu Business Park. I mean, there's so many foreigners in these areas now, especially even you know since a year and four months ago when I first came here, there's way more now than there was back then. You know, same with like BGC in Manila and, you know, other areas in the Philippines. So these kind of areas, you're not going to get the attention that you might be expecting. Another guy messaged me not too long ago and he was like, Chad, man, I'm getting ghosted like left and right. I hopped on one of those dating apps and, you know, start some conversations and, you know, one after another, they're like, they stop chatting with me or I'm making plans with them and then they just disappear. And so, and I've had this happen to me too with, you know, having conversations with girls online. And my thought with that is it's the same thing. There's so many freaking guys that are focused on the Philippines right now. And it's just been in the last year, how many more people are looking to come to the Philippines, looking to meet a Filipina, you know, tired of the crappy dating back home. And that's not just US, Canada. It's Australia, UK, all over Europe, Russia, Poland. Like there's so many countries that are, you know, looking at the Philippines as this possible place to find an amazing girl. Just to clarify, it's not anything like dating back home. It's still like, it's still way better despite all of these things that I'm talking about. So the main point is I really just want to set expectations right because I do think a lot of guys come here and they're expecting to just feel something different they're expecting to get the eyes to get the stares to get the smiles and chances are you're not gonna get that in these really really popular areas a lot of the girls that are hanging out in these areas are are working they're maybe at call centers working at the mall whatever they see foreigners all the time it's not a big deal for them in fact there's a lot of girls that they don't even like like going to Ayala Mall, for example, because there's so many foreigners there and guys that first come to the Philippines are coming with this like charged energy, <laughs> like built up, you know, oh my God, I want to get to the Philippines and meet someone. So they show up and they go to these areas and then they go to the mall and I'm not going to lie, there is cute girls everywhere. There are so many cute Filipinas. It's crazy. So, you know, you go to the mall, you go to Ayala Mall and you see all these cute girls. And so these guys are like, oh, I want one. <laughs> so they walk up and, um, you know, a lot of these girls are, I guess, tired of so many foreigners approaching them and asking for their number and stuff. And it's just not the right place to do it. It's funny because when I, when I first came to the Philippines, I made a video at Ayala Mall. I interviewed a few different girls and was asking them about dating. And the funny thing was two of them were actually there waiting for their dates. And so the whole video was like, this is the best place to meet Filipinas. And it was all about Ayala Mall. And I don't feel that way now. I think it's even changed since when I made that video. I think it's changed a lot. There's just more foreigners and the whole dynamic has changed. Now, 
let me clarify too. You have to come with the mindset. Like if you're in one of these popular areas, it's not like Filipinas aren't interested in foreigners. It's just, it's not some place that's magical where you're just this amazing foreigner. Oh my God, I want you so bad. It's not like that at all. So if you want to meet a girl in IT Park or any of these areas, you can. You just have to be friendly. You have to have a good attitude and you do have to have some confidence, right? So you have to be able to go up and start a conversation. But the cool thing is most Filipinas are just very nice, sweet people. And if you come with a smile and a, just a genuine attitude and you're not coming with like, I want to get your number, I want to take you out. That is the way to approach most Filipinas. It's just generalization. It doesn't apply to everyone. There are girls that are still going to be quick to want to give you their number, want to go out on a date with you. You know, there are lots of opportunities to date in Cebu, in these popular areas, like way better than back home. To be honest, there are so many things to really deep dive into as far as the personality differences here compared to Western women, the cultural differences, you know, really how to approach it. For example, a lot of girls that might not be interested in you in that first encounter, their thought is a little bit cautious, but if you were to see them again and then again, and you sort of build that trust, even if this girl's super cute and you're like, ah, oh, she's not gonna be interested in me because maybe I'm too average or below average looking or something like that. One of the coolest aspects of the Philippines is that most girls aren't overly worried about the way you look compared to like Western women. And that's pretty awesome. So they are more focused on meeting a guy that is genuine, trustworthy, has a good attitude, you know, provides a sense of security and these aspects. All women want these things. But what's cool about the Philippines is that is their by far their main thing and they're less worried about your looks, they're less worried about your fashion even. If you're just like clean and, and appropriate, that's good enough. You don't have to have the best fashion. You can dress dorky, you can be a little overweight, have a belly, be below average looking, you can be balding. Like these things compared to the West, that's way different. And that that's just really, really cool. And age, I mean, obviously, that you know, you hear a lot about that, the whole age thing. Girls here aren't super worried about that, if there's a big age gap. And a lot of girls like that. They want a guy who's more mature. And that's where the age thing comes in for these girls, that it provides them with that feeling of security, uh, trustworthiness. You know, a younger guy is gonna potentially be playing more games or be less faithful and be less emotionally mature. So point of this video guys is set your expectations right, especially for these like popular areas, come with the right attitude. Now I wanna finish the video with how different it is when you start to get away from these popular areas. And if you're looking for that unique attention that I think a lot of guys are anticipating when they come to the Philippines, you have to get out of these areas. And the further you go, the more that dynamic changes, the more attention you get and the more unique you are to the people that you're going to that you're going to encounter but they're also going to be cautious of you they're going to be you know unsure of like what your intentions are and they're also very shy they're concerned about what people are thinking so if you're talking to someone in the province they might be thinking in the back of their head who's watching there's a lot of like gossip in the province and stuff like that so you know these are other kinds of challenges when it comes to meeting someone but that attention that you might be wanting and, and expecting when you come to the Philippines, that is where you're gonna get that kind of attention. It's gonna be off the beaten track. It's gonna be out of the way from the comforts of some of these other areas in the Philippines. Don't go to Ayala Mall if you wanna get that attention. Take a ferry to Leyte, that's where I'm going next, and then hop on a trike and tell them to drop you off in some random town and then walk around. And then you're gonna get crazy attention. You're gonna get all eyes on you. So if that's what you want, that's what you have to do. And people are friendly, people are cool, but you have to get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Next video, I think I'm gonna talk more about just the intricacies and the dynamic of 
relationships here because it's so different. I'll give you a little teaser for things that I wanna talk about in my next video. Like for example, we have this thing called dating back in the West, right? We date girls and we go out and we get to know them. If you're meeting a girl, especially from the province or any kind of traditional girl, they don't really date. Filipinas often will jump straight from meeting you even online to feeling comfortable with you, making sure you're, they feel you're genuine, and then bam, lock in, relationship. Let's talk marriage, let's talk kids, stuff like that. Like they would be comfortable with all of these conversations right away. Like there's a, there's a really big jump from meeting to serious relationship. And it's different than back home. Girls here have a, a different mindset about love and a different mindset about you know, connecting with someone. And I don't feel I really fully know someone until I've spent some time with them in person. But if you spend time with someone in person, you have now jumped into the territory of like, there's expectations of this being a thing, like being a serious, serious relationship where now there's a more of a commitment, even though you're just trying to get to know that person. So it's different and you have to learn how to navigate that. And I wanna talk more about my thoughts on that in the next video, but that's one of a bunch of different things that people should know about before they consider the Philippines to meet a potential partner. Anyways, guys, I think that's enough information for this video. I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.